you'll be getting updates about taxes, updates about my processes, and we'll go through that. That will create the content of your emails. The, identi the identification of the message as an ad, that's meaning it's not a personal email to you, that they understand that this is a newsletter going out. Tell recipients where you're located. This is a funny one. If you work from home and, you, and your business is at home, you don't have to put, when you sign up for these CRMs, the, the customer relation management, uh, relationship management, uh, MailChimp or Constant Contact, they require you to have an address. You don't have to put your actual home address. You can just put the city and the state, but they have to have some identi identifying factors because of this anti-spam act. Tell recipients how to opt out. So when you want to opt out, if you do get spam, um, you want to opt out, you scroll down to the bottom. So a lot of these places automatically set that up for you. And there's an unsubscribe button at the footer of all emails. That is common courtesy. and when it's there, a lot of people don't use it. So, but we need to have it built in and, and that's just one of, one of the big rules. And then you have to honor those opt-out requests. How many times, I signed up for one company by accident, you know, like for, a, I think a discount for Christmas and, it, and, and things happen to me too. Um, and I opted out of it, but I guess I didn't opt out of the other five companies that they also own. And I kept getting all kinds of ads from their companies. So, um, just as um, you know, you have to honor those opt-out requests. And if you're using in, in the ne in the next slides, I'll explain. If you're using a CRM, you'll be able to control all that kind of stuff.